Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods 8. So, I've been busy. Uh, we've been getting quite a lot of ATM stars. As you can see, I managed to do this entire circle, this entire circle as well. I've started using these framed blocks right here. Uh, yeah, framed slopes. I quite like the slopes. I think they look pretty good. I'm lying, of course. This is not actually all of the blocks that I got uh, because I if JM3 is going to set me the task of swapping out my entire road for ATM star blocks, you know I'm going to cheat. And that's exactly what I did. I cheated. So, cable. <laughs> Yeah, this is uh this is a cable that I put a facade on. It still has the texture, so technically I'm I'm counting that as a win. Let me know what you guys think. Should I keep it as cable or well, to be fair, I've already wasted it on uh because you can't craft them back. So cover. It doesn't even show covers. Oh, it does. It shows this this cover here. Uh but you get why does it only say you get one from this? That's not at all what happens. Did I get another one whilst I was waiting? No, not yet. Up to five. But you can see, uh, we just finished off an ATM start and we already got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got nine, ten. Uh, they, do, they do come in quite quick, is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, I decided uh, we're going to do covers everywhere. Uh, maybe in some certain places. Also, I've already lost one of the covers. You you get six, so let, let me grab something else. Uh, let's just go for a completely random block, uh, like white concrete. Uh, but yeah, you get six out of it. So I turned my one ATM star, or I think I had 15 ATM stars? I'm not sure. Uh, you might be able to count them from here. Uh, if you desire to do that, but that is yeah quite a lot of ATM stars still right there. I'd say uh, Plus each one of these frame blocks actually I Don't know if you can get them out. I'm kind of scared of breaking this Why do you not give me the thing back now in this certain area? I didn't get the the slopes back or anything uh, I might have to re-log because I have left this logged in like a couple of hours already. So I'm at that point where it, yeah, let me just re-log. Okay, I'm back in, but it, it's no longer here. Uh, but I do have another framed thingy and I've got a bit of cobble and... See that? You're supposed to get them both back. It's something to do with this little area right here because I didn't get the uh, the thingy back. Uh, I'm worried if I do it right here, it will... See, did you see that? Is it going in my backpack or something? What what the heck is going on? I'm losing ATM stars by doing this, by the way. I may cheat myself some back in. Uh, which, by the way, if you want to cheat and you're, you've got no cheats on, you can just do that. And then you can do this. Uh, ATM 1 and 2, because that one over there and that one there. Uh, that feels really dirty doing it that way, but I mean, I'm not. I'm not gonna wait for another one. So let's get another slope at least. Oh, and I'll turn this off because that is the first time I think I've cheated any items in. Thinking about it, yeah, I think it is. Wow, I've not had to use that before. Uh, I'm gonna save and quit. Otherwise, you can see right there, like it. When you press escape, because you're in, uh, like, basically it turns your, your thing into a server at that point. But, yeah, I'm going to make it not a server so I can pause whenever I want. Okay, so today, uh, by the way, this is definitely not a server. You see the, the windmill has stopped. Fire is still going for some reason. So is the ATM stars, Just I've just realized. Brilliant. Uh, he started on the guard tower. No, he hasn't. Or is it the other dude? Oh, sweet. Yeah, I did chuck like a bunch of materials that they'll need for all of the guard towers in the warehouse. Just over there. 
Uh, right, anyway, what we're going to do today is we're going to get... Oh, no, I wanted that wrench. Thank you. Always keep this wrench in my backpack. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're going to get into apotheosis specifically. We're going to try and get... Is it over here? No, that's tips and tricks. That's coming next episode, by the way. I'm going to do three episodes of tips and tricks. So I'm going to do basic, like, uh, beginner tips. And then, uh, like, sort of mid-gamey tips. I might just do two. So uh, beginner tips and then, like, how to get to an All the Mod Star. And some tips and tricks I came up with whilst we were doing it. Uh, but anyway, we're going to do the Library of Alexandra today, if we can. Uh, lib of that bad boy. Uh, I might do the Crystal Staff if we have time today. If not, it will be soon. Let's just say that. So first thing we need to do is we need to get ourselves an enchantment library. And then for that, we also need these infused uh, hell shelves. And yeah, for that, we need some hell shelves which means we need potions of regeneration. And the rest of it I think I've got. Uh, but we also need to like get the Eterna to at least 22.5 and Quanta and all of that stuff. So uh, I've never made one of these before, by the way. So this will be a first for me as well. Work, work. Hello, mate. Let's, let's grab this dude before he runs off. Cold. Oh, I love that sound now. It's like my favourite sound in Minecraft. Because that means we get another ATM star. Oh, we got two already. That was pretty good. We only had one a minute ago. Uh, no, we had zero a minute ago. That's really good. All right, you go back. Go, go and get employed, mate. Thank you. Sweet. It wasn't the two that were here, was it? Can I... Oh, my goodness. Right, these are going in the bin. Do you know what it is? There's this right here. This item collector. I don't know if we can see the, the radius. That's exactly what's happening right there. Can we can we see it over over here? Yeah. Does it does it reach all the way? I don't think it yeah. Come come back. It does reach. It reaches over there as well. So these two right here are the ones that I cheated in, basically. Let's just say that. Uh, and I'm going to turn off my magnet and we are going to sacrifice them to Poseidon. There you go. They're just going to disappear now. I was well confused. At least we know why that's happening now. <laughs> and I can, I can reduce this. Uh, I'm going to reduce it like all the way because we are actually not using this anymore. In fact, let me know if I should rip this down or not, or if you guys would like me to keep it, because uh, when we get to a certain episode, no idea which episode, uh, maybe episode 100, I'm going to do a world download, so that way you can see all of the stupid builds that I've done, <laughs> like this. <laughs> uh, right, anyway, Library of Alexandra, we need to get regeneration potions, which is awkward potions, plus... Uh, gas tears, and we can make those gas tears. In fact, we can make like gas tears if we wanted to. We could do this. This recipe should be easy enough. And we do have the potion thingy, my bob, right here. So if I grab, uh, what was it? It was wart. I grab some nether wart, put that in, take that out. Uh, yes, this should make water. There's the water bottles. And then this should make awkward. And then the gas tier should go in and we should get regeneration. Lovely. I'm going to get a pipe and we are going to pipe out of this. I want to see if it's going to be quick enough. Uh, actually, whilst we're there, let's grab... An ultimate pipe upgrade as well. It's probably useful. And then, what else do we need? Uh, a drawer. Let's grab just, uh, I don't know, 
yeah, yeah, just, just grab a regular frame draw like that and then stick that down, chuck that there. Need a wrench of some sort. I think most wrenches are, I'll just use the pipe wrench, but you can use most wrenches on that. That was pretty flipping quick, I must admit. But like right there, because this has already got potion of regen. <laughs> yeah, this has already got potion of regen. It can only take potion of regen. What was happening before, if you just like stick this up against the potion brewer, it would like put one out and then it would wait and then it put the other one out and then it would wait and then it put the next one out. But by the time it got to the next one trying to push the next one out, it would have already finished making like the water potions. And then this one would be empty, and it yeah, it got really weird. That's why there was one thick potion in there. So, uh, we hopefully are going to make loads of potions of regen right here. Although that can only take 32, so upgrade. Let's just stick a single one of these in there. And now it could do 256. Perfect. Okay. Right, what else do we need? So... We need blaze rods, nether brick, and yeah, all of those, so... In fact, we had some potions of regen for some reason. I only make two, which is fine. I'm going to lock this before I pull them all out. Let's just grab a bunch. In fact, one, two. Uh, yeah, let's make a bunch of these. Fifteen. I think 15 is a good number. Uh, I might do this quick and dirty. Um, by that I mean I'll find an area to do it. Uh, it won't be like the final area. Maybe we just do it right here. I'll move this. Move that up there. And then we could just do the enchanting stuff right here. So what do these give us? These give us the Eterna and Quanta, which are quite useful. So we need at least 30% quanta and the Eterna we're going to get from these. So I need to calculate how many of these. So it's 22.5 divided by 1.5, which is 15. That was pretty lucky. That, I just pulled that number out of uh, thin air, out of my tuchus. Uh, 1, 2, 3. One, two, three. And then we need an enchanting table as well. And enchant table. Oh, we don't have one. It's fine, we can make one. There we go. And I think you need to put something in there. So let's get a book and some lapis. And it should say, ah. Oh, does it need to be a certain, at least 30? So yeah, that's perfect. And we need four of those. So I do need two more of these. One, two. Uh, yeah, just click up here. One and two. There we go. So now we can enchant these. Does it matter? Oh yeah, it says uh, infusion is this one here, so. Oh, that was loud, wasn't it? Hell infusion. I swear I made more. Did I not? Did I just not make more? Uh, odd, okay. Well, I need to make two more because we need four of these. Oh, flip neck. Perfect. Right, we can make this... No, wait, where is it? This thing. Make this now. Easy enough. The enchanting table. And... This thing. And there is the enchantment library. This is really good just on its own. I suggest using this. And not go for the library of Alexandra. Because this is ridiculous right here. <laughs> but it's fine. Uh, we're going to need... Uh, what are the... I'll just do ap apotheosis. 
and it should have yeah there you go there's all of the the shelves that we're going to need so we're looking for eterna because i think this one says we need 100 no 50 exactly 50 but i, I think you can go 250 and then no more so if you have like 60 eterna in your whole setup it will only give you 50 I think that's how that works. And the same with Arcana. It would only go to like 100%, right? You can't go above 100%. But the quanta is the thing that's going to like proper do us, I think, do us in. So which one of these has a max of 50? It looks like these draconic end shelves. So we could use 10 of these, which will get us this. Then we need to get at least 45 Quanta and some Arcana. So that one there has got quite a lot of Arcana, but it does 5%. How many? Wait, what was that? Ooh. We don't want 100% Quanta. No, thank you. So we would need 13 of these to get all the Arcana we need, which doesn't look great. These things are pretty cool as well. It tells you what um, you've got in here. Like, you know when you go to enchant something, so... Uh, I don't know what we can enchant. You can't enchant that. Okay, uh, let's just grab a random... Can you enchant this? Yeah, there you go. So you see here, it just says unbreaking, but I think you can get more. The runes reveal all, it says right there. So it says item enchant ability one, enchant includes one. Uh, but we can get these things right here, this uh, like shelf of masterful sight, and it will give you clues on what other enchantments you're going to get. Because you know, if you enchant something you, and it says unbreaking, you can also get like, I don't know, um, fortune, maybe, who knows. Uh, so these are really useful, but I think they take up a slot and I don't think you can have more than a certain amount of like things feeding into this. But anyway, we need to look into Arcana. So hashtag Arcana. Maybe we just do hashtag Arcana and then we just see what, what it gives us. Okay. I knew there was like these things, like the candles give you. Arcana. And the gel gives you it as well. Interesting. Uh, so the Hexerai candle, or we could just make normal candles as well. I've got loads of this beeswax, so let's make a bunch of white ones. Okay, we need to make these ones first. Oh, I already had a candle in there. Fair enough. Oh, huh. okay, we'll use the, the dye essence because I've got loads of it. Bunch of white candles, perfect. Can you put multiple candles? Does that, 1.5, is it 1.5 per? Okay, and we put two in there. So if I do that, it's still 1.5. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna have to do this, 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 this. And then maybe one's round here as well. And then that will give us zero arcana for some reason. Is it because it can't see these? Uh, it now says... Is there a max on these? It doesn't say a max. 3.75, which is these three, I believe. One, two, three. So maybe if I put one there, has that gone up? Yeah, five. That one is blocking this one or something, or is blocking that one as well. Very weird. Maybe you can't put anything around this, like here, like around the ring. But that is giving us 12.5. I don't think this is worth it. We might need to use this, but Interesting. Um, which is the one that gives us... Hmm. I need to look into this. Maybe I use the pearlescent 
end shelf, which in itself, which is fine. We've got loads of dragon's breath. We could easily make this. I might actually set up some recipes for these. Okay, I think I've added like most of the recipes right here. Obviously, we can't do the ones which are infusion crafting or infusion enchanting. That's what I meant. Yeah, we can't add those, but we can add everything else. And even if we like request, I don't know, something that requires infusion, so like this one, it would tell us what we're missing. Have I not got any gilded blackstone? I've like mined half the nether already. <laughs> That's so weird. Can you make gilded blackstone? Gilded blackstone. This thing. Yeah, you can. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We should do this at some point. Uh, I, I could possibly go and... No, nah, I'm not going to do that yet. But... I feel like we need like a bunch of infused. I I've tried looking it up online. Like, what is the perfect setup for this? I know a few people just like slap down everything until they've got their Eterna to like Eterna and Quanta maxed, and then they don't care about the Arcana until right at the end because you can use melon shelves. Melon. Oh, hello. You can use these ones, and they just minus one on the Eterna, but they also minus ten on the Quanta. So you could use a few of these to like get yourself down to below fifty. And it doesn't take that much Eterna. So if you've got, I don't know, like let's say you've got hundred Eterna. Remember you can only go up to fifty. Uh, if you use one of these, it will minus one from that 100, not from the 50 cap, but it will minus 10 from the quanta. So if you've got 100 Eterna and 100 quanta, you'd be at, you know, uh, 99 Eterna and 90 quanta. And then you just bring that down enough. I think that's how that works. Uh, we'll have to find out. So right now, this is max... Of, so we definitely need to get those other, what are they called, shelves? Yeah, there we go. I think it's one of these. I think it's this one is the one we need. But I am missing dragon heads. Is there any way of getting dragon heads without going to the end? Dragon heads. Oh, you're kidding me. I don't really want to do that, though. Uh... Like, we do have everything. We could probably go do this, to be fair. And um, we've got a wand, or a staff, I should say. Not a wand. Uh, I feel like this is a, probably a good idea. I know we need the crux as well for this. I'm not sure how the crux works in uh, one of these things. Maybe you put the crux here, or you put it underneath the thing. Uh, anyway, this one goes in like that, and I'll make us a dragon seed maybe it just work in like the this thing over here did I make some more cloches I did not oh, oh I've got enough to make one though so that's good uh, where do we put this maybe we ah, yeah, we should probably put it over here with this so Grab ourselves a quickie flux point. Uh, I need some water for this as well. Maybe we don't put this over here because I need water and I don't want to set up some water over here. Let's just use one of these. I don't think I will need to use a, uh, a thing on this. Let's have a look. It should fill up quick enough. Uh, oh, I could have used a cable. Ah, that's fine. Right, so we stick one of those in and we need some Insanium farmland. So farm... Oh, cool, we have farmland. Insanium. We've got one or two Insanium, that's all good. <laughs> okay, that can't go in there because I think... Actually, it'll probably tell us. Yeah, this needs the crux. That's fine, we can make one of those. Crux. I love that they've got the Awakened Draconium 
uh, crux right there that you can't craft. That's just like a they've left the code in for that. <laughs> That's funny. And the Gaia spirit. What? You can. Oh, okay, cool. So you, you need to make this. I'm guessing for nitro crystals. Wait, what is nitro crystals? Oh, you still need another star. That's fair, I suppose. Uh, but we can stick the crux in, and I'll get my staff. And this is just going to be boosted like no end. Okay, there we go. There's our first two dragon egg essence. What was it for dragon? Dragon's head. We need this thing. So we need some soul dust, which means we need some of this, which means we need some soul stone, and we just, yeah. Soul stone. Is that not the same thing? I don't think it is. Where do we get soul stone from? Oh, this stuff. Oh, you just need to smell it up a bunch of times. That's fine. We could go do that. Dragon head. Yeah, let's just get like, I don't know, tons of these. Because I don't know how many of these heads we're going to need. Oh, there we go. Oh, flipping egg. Okay, we just got more as well. That's That was simple enough. I think that was way simpler than going into the nether, actually. Or the, 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 the end. That's what I meant. You know what I meant. Uh, so now we can stick that one in. And shelf. Uh, which one is it? Draconic end shelf? Sweet. Oh, limitless potential. <laughs> stick this one here. So this is now above. Ooh. I think. Yeah, we might have to change these hell shelves. Actually, that, they can only go up to 30. Maybe we need these ones. I oh, know they can only go up to 30 as well. Which ones go up to 40? Okay, they were all end shelves. Just regular end shelves go up to 40. Uh, let's do 15. Why not? I want to see if this goes to 45. One, two. Oh, missed the one in the corner. Always get the one in the corner if you can. I don't know if those actually activate. They do. They do. Sweet. Okay, so now we just maybe we get another draconic end shelf and that will bump us up to 50. Okay, so we got this. So now I can do this again. And we can get the draconic end shelf. I wonder if, uh, does this thing go even higher up? Can we put one here and it would still interact with it? What does it say? No, 45. Okie dokie, that's fine by me. We can just... Uh, I kind of want this to be a little symmetrical. Stick that there. Okay, that's at 50 a turner now. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want to see. We need Arcana now. What gives us Arcana? So... Uh, this one gives us Arcana. Uh, no. Anything else give us a good amount of Arcana? That one does. Pearlescence do. Maybe we should swap out all of the end shelves, the regular ones, for Pearlescent. Let's try that. So, what was it? Pearl. 15 of those, please. Okay, let's give this another go. This might be bumping us above the amount that we need, but... Yeah, that... Oh! That's perfect right there. Now all we need is some melons. So, we need four melon shelves. What do you mean a missing glistering melon? Did I not put program that in? There we go. All programmed in. So now uh, we need four of these. One, two, three, four. And that is at... Is it, can it be 50 or below? That is perfect right there. I've never done this before. 
Oh my goodness, we've got it. I didn't think it would be that easy, if I'm honest. I mean, it wasn't that easy, but... We've got the Library of Alexandria. 60% capacity. What the heck is that? 60% capacity. Oh my, look at all of the <laughs> achievements that I got. Oh, this is going to go on for a little while. I love it. Okay, it stopped. <laughs> uh, okay, so we got obtain an end shelf. Enchant an item at 100% arcana, which we did because we just did that. Enchant an item while having at least 10 of each stat. Have we not done that before? I think the quanta. Yeah, I think it was the quanta. But yeah. Enchant an item at 50 arcana. We did that. Perfect. Trying to enchant an item at level 60. Excellent. Enchant an item at 50 quanta. Enchant an item at level 100. Wow. Okay. And at 80 as well. So what was this again? This was a level 100. Flipping heck. Oh, we can sort of like rip this down now. Maybe we chuck that there. Um, trying to think. Maybe we move this one. And we put this one in the middle. And then we can... Yeah. I want this to be symmetrical because... I'm sure you guys get it, right? you got to have it symmetrical. Perfect. Also, we can make these disappear by putting them in the corner, and then we don't have to look at them. Uh, in fact, I've got a plan. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tidy my inventory, I'm going to rip this down, and then I'll show you the exact things that you need, and then we'll be right back. Okay, so what you need is 15 plus four normal house shelves. So that is 15 plus four, so 19 basically, of the um, regeneration potions. And then what you do with that is you enchant them one at a time with the 45 one, and that, that'll be infusion. Uh, in fact, let's just do that, because why not we'll get some house shelves. Then uh, you can use these to create the enchantment library. We're not going to do that because we've done it already. Then uh, after that, you are going to need some pearlescent end shelves, which do require dragon's breath. I've already shown a good way of getting dragon's breath, which is the loot fabricator. Just stick it on the dragon. You don't have to kill the dragon that many times either. From what I remember. Actually, it will tell us here. Basic is... Data per kill was 12. And it's 48. So whatever 48 divided by 12 is. Is it 4? Yeah, you need 4 kills to get some of those uh, those pearls. Anyway, that, we're not talking about that. After you've done that, yeah, you need to make the, the pearlescent version, which is ender pearls and end rods. You can make end rods. If I didn't know this, if I'm honest, but just some popped chorus fruit and a blaze rod makes you four end rods. Who knew? I bet you guys knew, but still. Uh, then you want to make yourself two end draconic shelves. So draconic end shelves. They do require the dragon head, but... You can get that whilst you're looking for your elytra, if you are going to use the elytra. If you're not, then I'd suggest doing the mystical version, because super easy. Uh, especially because the dragon scales are really easy to get, and you'll probably get that whilst you're getting your dragon's breath. So, And you need, I think, eight altogether, because this one requires the crux. Uh, it will... Require some insanium though, so just bear that in mind. Uh, and then you also need four melon shelves to get the quanta down to a normal level. And then you get yourself the Library of Alexandra, which is awesome. 
I've not actually seen anybody do like uh, these are the things you need to get the Library of Alexandra. Uh, oh, actually, we had this. I don't remember how we had this set up before. But I'm going to set this back up and then uh, we'll be right back. There we go. That's all set back up. And as you can see, when you hover over it, it does say 50 Eterna, 50% Quanta and 100 Arcana which is awesome. And with that, I think I'm going to call it an episode. Uh, we did pretty well. In fact, we can do this now. Oh, there's no place. To... Stick it right there. There we go. Nightshade. Brilliant. Uh, but that one's done. Uh, we could have stuck it underneath. Oh, well. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's not even the right one. Oh, my goodness. This one over here is done. That's not even it either. Where is it? Where Where is the uh, Library of Alexandra? Is it up here? There it is. Flipping heck. <laughs> it's been a very long day. Right. Anyway, let's call it there. So thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. I didn't even show you what this thing does, so we are just going to lob in a bunch of books. Like that. <laughs> and then this thing, uh, yeah, we could just literally lob every single enchanted book that we have into this thing. And then we can pull them out whenever we want. But it also makes them go all the way up to like the highest level you can get. Uh, I think you can go above 10 or something. Uh, does it say it? I can't remember now. Uh, it will say on this. Capacity is huge.